Hi there, Billy Tarasio with Modern Law and your number two of top family law myths. It is a myth that all marital property or all property is always split exactly equally. In Arizona and in most states, um, the courts require an equitable division and equitable isn't always equal. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a short-term marriage, five years or so, and the couple racks up a lot of joint debt. Now this debt is community property, but if one spouse makes a lot of money and one spouse makes a little money, then you may have a situation where you've got a five-year marriage, it's a short marriage, and no one qualifies for spousal maintenance, or the spouse that doesn't make a lot of money or is a stay-at-home uh, parent or um, you know isn't employed, they may not make any money, and someone else may make a whole lot of money. And it may be equitable in that case to ask the judge to at, divide the, the community debt in proportion to the party's incomes. That would be you could argue an equitable distribution of debt, but not an equal distribution of debt. This is something to keep in mind. Family courts are courts of equity. That means courts of fairness. That means factors come into play. If one spouse um, created all the debt, that's another reason to ask for an equitable distribution, especially if the debt wasn't useful to the community. If one spouse incurred all the debt, but they were buying, you know, washing machines and dryers and plates and dishes that everybody used, then um, it's unlikely that that's, you know, that it would be equitable to make one spouse pay for that. But if one spouse went out and just bought clothing for himself or herself, or had, you know, a massive handbag collection or shoe collection, then it might be equitable to say, listen, you're taking your shoes or your handbags with you, you take the debt with you. So it's something to keep in mind. It doesn't always mean equal. That is a myth. And tomorrow we'll get number three, myth in family court.